Minister, thank you for speaking with us back at ITB in 2015. I, I realize going around the Barbados booth over the last two days that it's been pretty hectic. Uh, what's happening here? Oh yes, we, we, we have a number of private sector uh, players who have uh, joined us at the uh, ITB trade fair and everyone has been reporting uh, good business, uh, opportunities of meeting with different partners influential players in the German market and, and the wider European market as well. So I think the affair has gone quite well for all of us. Let me talk about some negotiations that you have been holding with uh, one particular airline for direct flights to Barbados. You will tell us that airline and, and how the negotiations are going. Going, 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 going extremely well actually. Uh, we, we, we are speaking about German Wings, which is a Lufthansa affiliate that does domestic travel within Germany. But they're setting up uh, something called Euro Wings, which will be a charter player offering uh, long haul vacations. So we, we've been talking to the CEO of German Wings, or rather the COO, the Chief Operating Officer, who has responsibility for the Euro Wings project. They, already come into Barbados, are already due to come into Barbados, I should say, with the uh, you know, air sea transfer arrangements. As you know, the AIDA cruise line, as well as the uh, TUI cruise lines out of Germany, home port in Barbados every winter. So they're contracted to, to work with the German uh, cruisers, but they want to do more with long stay visitors, um, and, and we, are, we are working with them. The negotiations are coming along quite well. There's a possibility that uh, later in the year we, we, we will be in a position to have uh, another option for Germans to come into Barbados. As you know, we have the Condor flight out of Frankfurt. That has been either two or three times a week. We are now talking about a possible weekly or twice weekly out of Cologne, um, another major German city. So and a good hub, a good transportation hub. And with a partner like Euro Wings connected to German Wings, we know that, um, and Lufthansa really, the Lufthansa being the parent, uh, we, we, we can be assured of good connections into that flight. So it can, it can help us see some significant growth out of this German market. It has been growing, but there's still a tremendous potential for us. And we want to continue to harness it. Uh, you talk about that, the, the, the growth of the market. How well is it doing and what's the growth like? Yeah, well, I mean, we, we, we have, you know, been hovering in 12 to 15,000 visitors a year from, from Germany in, in Barbados. Uh, that, that is a, a good number, I suppose, but we can do a lot better. And the... The, the, the real test is what we're going to do to, to, to see some significant improvements, but, but it will require airlift uh, questions being resolved. Connecting through London is, 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 is a bit of an ordeal. Um, most cases you will fly into Heathrow and you will probably have to overnight uh, unless you can get a, a flight very, very early in the morning. Um, it is true that the BA flight, the second BA flight, which is not daily, uh, leaves a little later in the morning. You might be able to meet that, but getting from Heathrow to Gatwick, you know, with or without bags, just to dealing with London traffic that can be quite unpredictable is, is, a, is an experience. So it, it, is, it is clear that we, we, we do have to address the airlift question. The other thing that we need to deal with too is uh, inventory on island. Uh, many of our, you know, hoteliers are very comfortable with the arrangements they have in the UK and they don't they're not they don't always make inventory available for European uh, operators so we just have to make sure as well that they are with us um, because we don't want to be out there you know uh, lobbying for increased business and then we simply don't have the, the room stock you know we've just come out of a winter, for example, where it was 
near enough impossible to get a, a room anywhere in Barbados. So, so we have to continue to address the inventory question and, and making sure we get it at the right price point as well. Let's stick a little here with the German market. Uh, I think you must be pretty happy yesterday uh, Barbados received an award from one of the key uh, travel agencies uh, here in Germany for its performance as a destination. Oh yeah, yeah, that, that was a very good, good award um, from the dear touristic people, uh, the huge, huge player here in Germany, network of travel agencies, thousands throughout you know, north and, and south, south Germany, all over, and um, you know, and that that that's that that's a good a good a good a good indication of exactly where we were. It it was it was about a you know sustainable destination marketing efforts and 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 and, and speaking to the quality of the offering, and and I think that is extremely good in terms of. Telling us the extent to which the brand Barbados is, is valued. We are not necessarily seen as a mass or low cost brand, but we are seen as a quality brand. And, and I think that there's, there's just so much scope for us in, 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 in Germany. That it's, 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 not a, it's, you know, it's really not at all funny. On the, the coastal part of Germany, in the north Hamburg, second largest city, down south, I mean, we. Well, this Cologne thing will help us definitely because that's more in the, the southern region where, where there's a little more prosperity, the, the, the Bavaria state and so on, and, and some of those cities, Munich, uh, Nuremberg and so on. And there, there's, there's just so much potential here that, 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 that the numbers, even though they are on a growth path, they, they, there's a, a quantum improvement that, that we are determined to see happen here. And, and that's why we've been pursuing this Eurowings discussion. I, as I said, I was talking with the, the, uh, the gentleman who has responsibility for the entire project, the COO, the Chief Operating Officer of German Wings. So, so th this, these, these are, these are uh, people well placed um, to, to influence this decision to get the Barbados brand on the up in Germany in a, in a major way. I've got to talk about Barbados' performance on a whole. Uh, it seems that Already in January, you've seen quite a good performance, haven't you? Yeah, January was, was, was extremely strong out of, out of all markets. Uh, we, we still have this, this little issue with our, our regional performance. We all know the challenges of access for our CARICOM brothers and sisters to, to come and join us. And we, yeah, we're working on that. We, we're working on major decisions made at LIAT recently trying to engage with Caribbean Airlines out of Trinidad and Tobago and, and also talking to some other other aviation players in the region as well. So we, we have to fix that. The star market in January, of course, was Canada. Saw a 26% increase over last year. And that should not come as any surprise considering the very large aircraft, that they, the largest in their fleet, the 777, and that they are now uh, using on a daily basis out of Toronto and, and still have the Montreal flight. So that's there and WestJet is still there as well. So the, the Canadian business in particular has increased tremendously, um, but the, the other markets have also seen increases as well. You know, the, the UK market, which is our largest source market, it's good news to see it recover, recovering so nicely. Uh, vindicating the decisions by the different players, including British Airways, to increase capacity because the seats are being filled. Uh, some of us had to, you know, fly through Miami to get here because there was just no room on the London flights. You know, so, so I think that um, all in all, we, we definitely had very good winter. December was strong, and January was even stronger. So we hope to continue uh, along those lines. What's responsible for this 26% rise? You, you've mentioned a large, a larger aircraft, but clearly the airline isn't going to put more seats available if the demand isn't there. So, what's responsible for the increased demand? Uh, a, a number, a number of, of other things would have contributed. We, we we have gone into the market to try to create some noise. We've been forced to be more creative, more energy. Um, you know, we have a 
young senior director now based in Toronto, Peter Mears. Uh, he's doing some amazing work with a, with a team that is youthful and experienced. Uh, we, we, we've also had some, a number of very important developments. The government's decision, for example, to work with a long-standing player, the uh, Weatherhead family that runs the Sun Group of companies, they're operating Ammon. Ammon is, you know, the brand that we purchased and is being operated on a profitable basis uh, in St. Peter. You no, know, this is not HRL all over again, the Gems of Barbados confusion. The, that property is being operated on a profitable basis and is giving us rooms that we can sell to Canada and elsewhere, but it has been particularly strong. Air Canada Vacations has been sending a lot of people to Amman. So, so I think that that has helped. And of course, the Sandal situation, of course, has also helped too. They're quite strong. But, but, but overall, you know, a, a determination that actually goes back even, you know, from when I first started in 2008, that the Canadian market need, needs to start to get back to the respectable levels that it wants had in the late 70s, early 80s. As a matter of fact, at one stage it was Barbados' major source market. Um, I don't know if we'll, we'll see that again in the foreseeable future, but who knows? The point is that we can do better, um, and, and that's the direction we're going in.